All right, in this episode, we're going to see which one is Flo's favorite for striking. Is it going to be the fight camp freestanding bag? Or is it going to be the spa bar? So let's see. You ready? You ready? Let's fight! All right, so let's start with the fight camp freestanding bag. So you see the fight camp freestanding bag has a long body. So you can do kicks to it, you can do knees, you can do elbows, you can punch, and you can do my favorite, headbutt. Now the freestanding bag is designed to take power shots, Mike Tyson shots, to seek and destroy. So if you're at a work at an office and you need to let some stress off, the freestanding bag is the perfect bag for all that. Oosh! So another thing about this bag, you can move around with it. So if you're working on your movement and your jabs, you can move around the bag. But the only downside of the freestanding bag is like anything, it's nobody punching back at you. So you can get lazy with your defense. I see a lot of people hitting the bag and they stand right here, because why? The bag is not hitting back. So you have to put in your mind before you start, every time you get finished, you're moving your head, moving, always blocking, checking. So that's the only thing about this bag that it doesn't give you is someone throwing back at you. Now let's go straight to Spar Bar. Now Spar Bar is a different type of beast. This has this little thing that, that swings at you. So you remember when Bruce Lee said, boys, don't hit back. You hit the Spar Bar, this thing is coming after you. So I always tell people, when you first start to learn this, have a headgear and a mouthpiece in, because it will blacken your eyes. So I always tell people, take it light first. Learn how to block. Block before you start moving, because everybody wants to hit it and move out the way. You see how I drop my hands? And this will end up hitting you. So this helps you with your movement. Learn how to move and use your footwork and move it, and you can hit the top thing on the bottom, up top, boom, you can get body shots, boom. But always keep your hands up when you're hitting the spar bar. Now the cons about the spar bar is you can't really do low kicks. Now certain people, I've seen people on the spar bar kicking here, working on that reaction. Kicking is perfect, but if you're working on low kicks, this will destroy your shins. And another thing, this thing is not designed to go hard. You can't blast this like you would the free standing bag. Everything has to be smooth. The smoother you go, the faster it goes. So you can't kick it low and you can't kick it hard. This is a reaction bag. It teaches you how to move and work on your defense like you're sparring somebody. All right, so you asked me, which one wins? The free standing bag or the spar bar? So, I'm gonna ask you this, if you're looking for power, if you're looking for knees, elbows, and you wanna seek and destroy, the freestanding bag is the winner. But if you're looking for accuracy and moving and defense and slipping and using your footwork, the spar bar is a winner. But if you ask me, you need both of them. Both of them will help you take your striking to the next level. So if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Fight Camp an interactive training camp from the comfort of your own home. Tutorials and guided paths walk you step-by-step -step through the basics and sharpen your technique over time. Punch tracking technology and leaderboards provide you built-in motivation to help you hit your goals. Learn more at fightcamp.com. Your workout, and I don't expect you to be going non-stop